How's it going guys, James96 here back with a brand new puzzle adventure map playthrough and today we are playing Prismatic, a colour based puzzle map by Mental Block Gaming, the guys who made There Is No Learning Curve 2 which we played in a stream a little while ago and today we are going to be playing their brand new map Prismatic which looks awesome. Prismatic is a short single player adventure that will see that will have you seeing rooms with a different light as you colour your way through a complex uh, transform different chambers using coloured glass to manipulate your surroundings and escape. So, all in all sounds very exciting, so let's get straight into it. Now, if you want to download this map for yourself, the download link will of course be in the description down below, uh, so you can check that out if you want to. Right, so, here we go, Prismatic, <laughs> we got the name right. Alright, so, let's just check we've got all our sounds good. Let's turn that up to 30. Cool, and then... This can be placed on glass, so I presume we can't place it there, but we can place it here. Let's try placing it here, see what it does. Okay, gave it back to us. We have also got this area over here. Let's have a look at this. Alright, we've got a chest here. Blue stained glass pane can be placed on glass. Okay, cool. Let's have a look around. So this is puzzle, so I don't know how easy it's going to be, but we can try it out. So if I put that on here, what happens? It turns it blue. Oh, and it's rising up with water. Okay, I'll take it. Let's move on. Interesting. Right, so we now no longer have said pane of glass. Interesting. We've still got our white pane of glass. What does that do? No, it doesn't do anything. It's already white though, so maybe that's to be expected. we got orange here. Okay, so we're just going to have to experiment to begin with because I don't really know how this all works. What does that do? Okay, that turns it all clear. Interesting. And what have we got over here? We've got an iron sword. Okay. And we've got another room here. And we've got something up here. Dispense with nothing in it. Right. Okay. That's a load of different dies through there. Right. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we've got to do is kind of assess what's going on here. I seem to have lost all my colour paints. I wonder if, if I put that there, does that give me the orange back? Yeah, it does. And it gives me the white back. Okay. So that's kind of how we reset the room. So we kind of want to get up there. To do that, we need the blue paint back. But I feel like if we put the blue paint down, we're not going to be able to swim up here. I may be wrong though. So maybe we should try that first. So let's do that. And swim up. Oh no, we weren't quick enough. So that may not be possible. What happens if we put the orange pane here? Oh, it takes away the orange glass here. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. Alright, so we've worked that part out. Now if we use the blue, we can get up to that level up there and see what's up there. I'm liking this so far. This is going to be very complicated, though, I can tell already. Right, so we got the orange beam up here from down below. We might need to bear that in mind that we can jump down there. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, and we can actually get through here. And uh, can we get to that chest? Doesn't look like it. What if we changed that beam to white? We'd probably be able to get up, wouldn't we? But I don't think we could just place that there, no. Alright, so we might need to do that. And in here, is my brightness all the way up? Yeah, it is. Okay. In here, we need to get orange going. What is down here? Oh. I don't think I've been in here yet. Cool. We've got yellow here. We've got yellow on the wall there. Yellow on this doorway. Okay, so I might, if I can't get out here, I may have trapped myself in. Let's just try it. Aha. There's a lever here now, which opens the door. Awesome. So I presume I can take that back now. Yeah, look at that. We're so clever, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, so that seems to have done... Oh, that's weird. The water's updated. I wonder if I can now, because the water's updated, just clear that. Yeah. 
Awesome. So now we can get up here. Look at this. We're working this out. I feel like we're kind of stumbling into the right answer slightly. But it's a lot of fun to play around with. So I definitely recommend downloading the map from the description. These guys make really cool maps. I mean, we played along to There Is No Learning Curve 2 and had a blast. Uh, me, Dan and Beardy was the main trio there. Um, so I guess what we should do is we should try and get through this one. I don't think I've seen this room before. Is this room new? <laughs> I didn't see this room a second ago. Um, yeah, let's try. See what that one does first. Okay, we've got no way to get up there though, so we probably don't want that colour just now. Let's change that back to what it was. That's yellow, isn't it? So if we take out that, I wonder if there's like a panel behind it. Yes, and I bet we can... What did that open? Open anything in here? It opened that door. I don't think that door was open before. Okay, let's change that back to white because we don't need to be able to see behind there now. Let's go check out through here. What have we got? We've got orange, which we already got to, but we can also get back into this room. Okay. Right, so we now don't need the blue in here. Aha. I got this. I got this. So we can take the blue out now because we can walk straight through into this room. And we can put the blue in here. So we can now get up. Okay. But we're also going to want to be able to get higher up. Because I don't think we can actually make use of this at all. So, I guess the best thing to do... What was the colour? It was orange, wasn't it? Let's go like that. Try and swim across. Oh, it didn't quite make it. Okay. I don't think that's going to be possible. But we'll try it one more time just in case. Actually, if I start from over here, surely I can just swim up. Yeah. That's going to change. Okay. Now parkour? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, I presume that opened this door here. It did. And we're in here. Okay. So we now got the lime green stained. And we've got whatever these are here. Which currently have nothing in them. They do spin around. <laughs> okay. Right. Awesome. And we've got this pressure plate. What does that do? Oh. You have got bone mill and a bow. Okay. Does anyone else think this is going to get really confusing really quickly? <laughs> yeah, alright. So where have we not been to so far? We've got a green trim around here. What is that for? Ladders, okay. And how did I get up there <laughs> in the first place? Maybe around there? And then was there... Yes, there was. Okay, I'll walk way up here. Alright, and then if I go across like so... Oh, oh, damn it. I uh, look bad. It was just a little fall. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. So we're going to have to do a bit of ladder parkour here. Always a favourite of mine. I'm loving how like straightforward, but at the same time, very difficult this map is. Here we go. Made it. Okay, what's through here? Have we been through here already? Alright, so we've currently got... Oh, this is the one where I think we need to put... I, th I would have thought white, but it already is white. Interesting. Okay. We need to have a think about that one. And through here, if we put orange... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we need to get... We need to get down here and change the colour to either orange or green. We've lost our green, so let's go. And we've lost our orange. Right. Let's go collect some of the colours that we don't actually need to have lying around. I'm actually going to change that back to white for the moment. And I'm going to change that back to white as well. I don't think I need... Yeah, see, that all stays open now. Let's see what happens if we put green in. Okay, ladders. Right. So if we do the same thing we did before. So if we do blue... And then change it to green. We might be able to get the... Oh, I didn't actually change it to green. That's going to be quite important for this test. Oh, that might not be possible. <laughs> Let's try it again. I'm sure if we're like right up on the surface. The trick is not like bouncing. It's just to be like hovering here. 
Let's try that again. Nope, didn't work that time. Hmm, okay. We might have to have a think. I wonder if we can like parkour across that gap, actually. Oh, let's not lose that. That's going to be quite important to us. Yeah, can we parkour across it? Not like that, we can't. Give it one more go. See if we can make the cut. If we jump enough. Huh. Oh, seems so close. I'll give it one more attempt. If not, I'm going to go kill a skeleton. Okay, right. We'll leave that for the moment. Let's go and kill that skeleton. And see if he drops anything useful to us. He's through here. Okay. Oh, he ya. Oh, I've got to remember it's 1.9. Uh. On the bright side, they don't seem to do too much. Okay, so we've got a bone and bone mill. Right. <laughs> and we got no die, no way to change stuff. Okay, interesting. Let's hop down here and across into this room. Make sure we haven't missed anything. This is where I start walking aimlessly around to try and work out what I can do next. Which I'm surprised I've lasted this long. But yeah. Um, have I trapped myself in here? I may well have done. Where's all the water gone? It's disappeared. Let's put that one in. And get out for the moment. And then we'll put the water down here. So that we can get back. And change that one back to normal. And then just... Go up through this water. Look at me, I'm so pro. <laughs> and then we can clear that one back and then we're not trapped anymore. I do want to clear this one though so I can check what is around in this room. So let's put that down. So if it's a bit dark for a moment. Awesome. Right, have we been through here? We have. This is where the skeleton is. Or was. Until I wrecked him. Ruined his day. Okay, so we've explored all of this. We need to explore up there. I can't work out how to do that. And there's more areas we need to explore, isn't there? So there was nothing in these chests. I presume there's still nothing in these chests. Unless I'm mistaken and forgetting something. So let's go on a little wander. And let's go back up here. And check out what's on these top levels. Because I kind of forgot. Oh. We need to change that back. I think I could just go down and change it. Let's leave that to it. Go round. It's over here. Okay. If we just go up like so. Oh. Hey. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, we do have an iron block. Do we get to place that at various points? So I don't want to place it and mess it up. So I want to keep hold of it for the moment. Because I don't know if you can get it back, but we do have a block of iron. Weird. I don't know if we... I think we've had that the whole time. Okay, so there's a lever up there, but there's no way to get to it. So what I think we should do... So we should put lime green. But if we put lime green there, we've got no way of getting up to this level, I don't think. Unless I'm forgetting a way up. So maybe we should focus on putting, I don't know, maybe blue in this one. That would work, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's put blue in this one. And see what that does to the top part. See if it helps us at all. Let's go across. And do our little journey up. Which we're getting so used to doing. Our little parkour area. Which I always seem to do like this, which isn't probably the most effective way. Anyway, has that helped? Maybe, actually. So if we go through here, go for a little swim, and back up. Hey, we're going to be able to reach that one now. Red stained glass, okay. So we've got another colour to add to our repertoire. Is there anything else in this room I'm missing? I don't think so. Let's swim back through. That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I can't remember any parts where we need red glass though, so it'd be interesting to see how that one works. Um, Let's go down here. Place that there. So are we missing any 
Red points? What does red do exactly? If I put red in, is that gonna... It just takes away all the blue, but it doesn't add anything because there's no red for it to add. Okay. It's kind of what I'd expect it to do. Let's have a look around. Um, let's get back out of here. So if we take that one. I want to try and keep hold of my colours again. So let's put blue here for a moment. Yep. <laughs> That's me getting flooded by the water, which is what I want. Then place white here. Good. And then swim up. Oh, <laughs> gotta wait for it to reset. And then swim up. Okay. Great minds. Now if we swim over to here, we can use the white stained glass. Place it on here. And water goes. Good. Consistent. That's what I like. Oh, hang on. I've been thinking that we need to use the green to get across here, but we can use the blue to get across, can't we? So if we use the blue, we can swim up. And then we can place the green in this one down here to see what's going on. Right, okay. That makes a lot of sense. So let's try that. So let's put green in this one here. Obviously, we can't see the effect of it, but... We've done it, I'm sure. Let's swim up here really slowly. Alright, and now we need to see what happens when you take away the green, basically. So I don't think we can just take away the orange glass because it's not going to do a lot, I don't think. Hey, ladders, see? I knew it was going to be something important. So green seems to place ladders. Let's do that one. Okay, so now we need to change it to orange. Guys, we're so clever. Oh, we got it? Yep, okay. Let's go back over. And swim up here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is actually really exciting to work out. I feel like I'm actually quite quick at working this out as well. Like you see some people play these maps and they're like, uh, okay, so this one does this, I'm lost, I give up I don't like this map, it's terrible and then rant about it when actually it's actually a pretty actually, actually, when actually it's a pretty good map okay so now we don't have black yet, do we? do we have any of the colours we need? no, we need blue we don't have blue, we can put green down to be able to get blue though so let's do that <laughs> we're going to end up on a massive wild goose chase let's put, let's get our blue back and then we need to go over in this direction and get up the top here. Uh, just give me two seconds because my timer is going to run out of battery like so. That should have really save it. Oh no, I'm a spastic. It's not going to save it. It's not ready. Alright, hopefully it won't run out of battery because then we're going to not know how long we've got left in the episode. It should be fine actually. Right. Let's go over like so. I just plugged a power cable in without the plug being attached, so it didn't actually do anything. Oh well, right. This one should come out. Then let's make sure we grab that. And then what colour we do we need next? Yellow? Oh we don't have orange. Where's our orange one? Where is orange? I wonder if I can like trick it though. I wonder if I go like that and then... Yeah, I bet I'm not supposed to do that. And I'm going to get trapped in there if I do do that. Oh no, it's not orange, it's red. Never mind. I don't need to trick it, but that is probably a bug. Um, so I'm not going to exploit it. That was interesting. It like, changed the colour of it. Depth Strider Free Boots. I'll take them. Not what I was expecting though. Let's take that back. Oh, I need to get across. So I swear when I put... Hang on, let's put red back. Get across. So I swear when I put yellow in, it made that one go orange. No, it didn't. I'm just imagining it. Let's just jump our way across and get over slightly quicker. 
Alright, so what do we need next? Where have we still got to go? We've done this room. Done that room. We've done that room. You know what, guys? I think that's a pretty good point to end this episode off. Let's just go back to the start and just check there's nothing here. We can't find the start. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good point to end episode one of this playthrough. We've done quite a lot there. Got to a very strong point. I'm just trying to find where the start is just to make sure it's not... We could get back out to the start if we place the blue pane of glass in here. Let's do that quickly. Okay. So, I presume... So, we got... If I put... No, you can't do that. But I imagine some of these colours relate to certain ones. So, we've still got to get purple pink the iron block we have as well I don't know how we got the iron block or if I'm meant to be using it so I haven't been so far yeah we still got to get purple and pink but anyway guys that is all I've got time for for today's episode if you enjoyed please do leave a like and uh, if you haven't already then please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time bye bye okay guys sorry for this but a little clip at the end here just to let you know that I made a little mistake in this video. I forgot to use their resource pack, which looks amazing, so you should definitely use it, even though it says it's incompatible. We will be using it for the next part, but I wanted to quickly show you what everything looks like in this one, and also to show that I didn't actually completely forget about it. I remembered when editing afterwards, but the problem is it looked quite good without the resource pack, so really, uh, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly walk around a few of the rooms and just see what it looks like. The step strider is so much nicer. It's our first time trying this out. But yeah, as you can see, the acacia is actually planks and a couple of these things just look a bit cleaner. And that looks a bit nicer with um, that resource on. But to be honest, it doesn't look a whole lot different. It wouldn't have affected the gameplay at all. It just has a slightly cleaner look to it with the resource pack on, which I can understand. Let's spawn a skeleton and see if they've changed at all. Now they look exactly the same. So yeah, really, I didn't actually do any harm, I don't think, uh, in how I did this. So I'm not too concerned, but yeah, it's um, it's a relief that I caught it in time to at least show in this episode that uh, I made the mistake. And again, I apologise for making that mistake, but hopefully it hasn't caused any major issues, hasn't led us to find something which we shouldn't have found. But anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.